Hey guys and girls, just wanted to give you a little bit of information regarding some brakes and brake pads, particularly for the Prados, well not just the Prados, these pads do fit some other vehicles, so here, DB1482s and db 1200s so front brake pads on the Prados, the, the 120s and the 150s, and these are the rear brake pads. You can see massive difference in size when you compare the pair. Um, perhaps this is a reason why we see the rears wearing out a lot faster than the fronts, particularly in the Bendix brand of brake pads. I'm not sure if you knew about that. So what we find working on new vehicles, or near new, we don't see the new ones, the new ones people tend to take them back to the dealership because they feel that's the best thing and that sometimes is depending what year and what model is and all that sort of thing and cap price servicing and stuff like that. Um, but once we see them at you know, 60, 70, 80,000 Ks onwards, I note that the rear brake pads usually need replacing first. I've mentioned this in other videos. Uh, usually, look, about the 100,000 K mark and the fronts usually last a little bit longer, fairly evenly with the genuine pads. Now, we've been using Bendix for decades. All good, you know, you have your little hiccups along the way, some small issues, you know. There's a lot of changing in compounds because, again, like vehicle emissions, they need to meet certain requirements, you know, brake dust, you know, getting rid of this and that and the other out of, you know, brake pads. And decades ago, a couple of decades or so, two or three ago, it was asbestos, you know, you've got to get rid of the asbestos. But, of course, you know, all these little particles and brake dust, none of it's going to be any good for you. But you'll probably find out what we put in there that's worse. Well, we didn't, but, you know, I say we as in us, everybody in general, you know, not knowing any better we put in there now it's probably worse than asbestos but we'll find out in another 30 years but so don't breathe the stuff in you know you got to sort of look after yourself for that you know clean clean gloves clean masks whatever not using compressed air but that's not what this is about what it's about is once we put the bendix because we do like the bendix you know with they were very good value for money um some of the pricing you know it went up a lot over the last again it's the last decade or two you know I'll go back to the year 2000 I'll tell you that they were good value for money. Um, in the 10 and 20 years before that, the price didn't, didn't change much. Um, as far as I know, you can get components made overseas and it works out cheaper. So I'm not sure why a lot of the brake pads are so much dearer in the last 20 years. So many things have gone up since the year 2000, I think. Okay, a lot of things have got a lot better too, but... Um, and, and in cars in general, going off topic, but you know, cars have got so good since the year 2000, so they're probably worth a bit more, but they've got cheaper overall, I think. Well, some cars have gone up, but another topic, that is. Anyway, what we noticed with the aftermarket pads, you put the 1482s in the front, the Bendix, say, Bendix four-wheel drives in the front of the Prados, they work fine, general, I'll say generally, because you always get someone or two or three people out of a thousand or what, and whatever, and they get some sort of squealing or whatever, you know, brakes are brakes. But generally, I'll say they don't squeal. They just don't squeal, generally, okay? So, really good. They last really well. The front Bendix pads last really well. I'll say just as good, if not better, than the, um, the original Genuines. I've got no issue with that whatsoever. Have trouble wearing out a set of front brake pads. However, I and the vehicles we work on and all the other people you ever hear from anywhere don't seem to have too much trouble wearing out a set of Bendix rear pads. Now, one thing I'd like to add is the thickness of the compound. I don't think, now I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like, I'm not going to measure it. You know, or, you know, let's measure it. Let's get a ruler. Where's that ruler? It's not far away. We've got a little steel ruler here. I'm going to estimate it's about, you know, what is it, 8 or 9 mil. But I've seen pads, there's a lot of pads with a lot more meat than that. There's not a lot here. And I think factory had more than this, but I'm going to give you a measurement. You know, we're not talking exact. We're talking, uh, there's eight millimeters, right? You know, you want to have a look for yourself, right? If you can see that, does that let's try and get that focus thing happening up a bit closer? Or are you just going to trust me? There's eight mil, you know, there is eight mil. Anyway, maybe nine. I reckon it was eight. Have a closer look again. Doesn't really matter, does it? Eight and a half, whatever. Um, uh, my best measurement, having a look with my eye with a bit of shiny light on the packet without getting it out. And a steel ruler, eight millimeters. So not a lot of meat there, you know. The backing plate, some some people say, you know, they teach you to check brakes and they say, as soon as the meat gets thinner than the backing plate, that's when you replace it. Now the backing plate's six mil, six mil. So 
with two millimeters of wear, you're down to the same thickness of the backing plate. That can be really deceiving and you could be wanting to replace them quite soon if you're gonna just wait till, you know, uh, the thickness is just a bit less than the backing plate. Yeah, two millimeters and you're down to, so soon at three millimeters and you've only got five left, it looks less than the backing plate and you're going on. And this is the other thing, see, bonus information. The rears particularly on these, the 1200s on the rear of the Protos, I'll say not always, but I will use the word always. They always wear unevenly, okay? They always wear unevenly, just about always. You know, that means on an angle. So one end will have more than the other, whatever, and it happens on both sides of the car, sometimes both sides of the caliper, the piston side or the outside, whichever side. Anyway, you get that. So the problem you got is once you get down to, you know, whatever the amount is that you estimate, and the way you estimate is you go, well, you got eight mil. If you put them at 100,000, and then at 120,000, you've got six mil. You know, you're going to be down to the metal in, mm, what was it? So a millimetre every 10,000 k is roughly ballpark, you know? If, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying if that's what you're finding, you in one 10,000 k service, you've used about one millimetre in, in two services, 20 or 30, 30,000 k's, whatever you use, three millimetres, you know they're going to last to the metal, 80,000 k's. You're going to replace them when there's a couple of mil left. You're not going to go to the metal. For that reason, they're worn on an angle. Maybe even three mil left at one end, you're going to be replacing them. So maybe you're only going to get 40, 50,000 k's out of them. Not so good. And people are people are getting only 30,000 k's out of them. Now. I'll be interested again to see in the comments if you can provide your data, if you use Bendix, full drive pads, how many kilometers did you get out of the rear? And I wouldn't be surprised. I've heard from people 10,000. As I've said in other videos, mud, dirt, dust, and all the grit works like sandpaper, those bog holes, to wear it down. But what Bendix have done, and I'm not sure there's any changes to the thickness. The front seem to have plenty of meat on them, right? There's plenty of thickness there. I'm not going to measure. I said I wasn't going to measure before. I reckon there's 9 or 10 mil on the front, so they're sweet. Got no issue with that. Um, so the feedback from Bendix is going to be, these are some pads they've sent us to do some trials on Prados with a new different compound to try out. A few products they've sent us, a few top secret products I can't tell you about. That's what's uh, on the end of the uh, bags here and whatever. But uh, these are Bendix pads with a new compound we're going to try out. So the VIPs, uh, people in the VIP group um, are going to get the first opportunity. We're going to, when once we're allowed here in Victoria, we're going to have a tech day, get the vehicles in. We've got four vehicles we need to put front and rear pads in um, for Bendix and do a bit of R&D with this compound and there's a number of factors we need to take into account. I've already put that call out so you may see this video. We've got it. We had a private video in the VIP group so that's underway. Just sort of let you guys know what's going on as well. So Bendix are listening and um, looking into what other compounds. We're going to give this one a try. My feedback's going to be we need a little bit more thickness there I'm sure. With that piston pushed all the way back, I think the genuine ones are thicker and I reckon we've got room for another at least one to two. I reckon we can go 10 mil. I want a bit more meat there personally. Uh, regardless of that, you know, if we're trying to solve a how long they last issue, the first thing we can do is add the extra 20% to start off with soon as we don't really get to use it at the end. So that's the first bit of feedback. Um, we're going to get these four sets into vehicles, front and rear. And what I've also requested is um, more sets of 1200s. So if we can't fill in with people in the VIP groups, guys, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and you've got the bell on because we may have, for people that are close by in Melbourne to the Prado Hospital, people that have visited before for services, repairs, to pick up parts, and you've got a Prado, you may end up being able to attend a tech day and get yourself a free or cheap, you know, installation charges may apply, set of brake pads, um, bit of a butter bing butter boom so that's pretty cool if you need brakes something to think about but don't get your hopes up yet we've only got four sets here most of these are spoken for not a hundred percent so feel free to um, if you do know me if you do visit the Prada hospital if you have picked up parts um, and you do need brakes soon and you missed the other video I can't guarantee you but please send me that text message, right? You've got to be very close to me within sort of 
10, 15 Ks type thing. We're gonna go for the closest, most regular people first, and people that use the vehicle off-road in the dust, dirt, people that go and do you know tracks on the weekend, hit the tracks on the weekend, they go away camping, they go away and do some out, you know. People that use the vehicle, people that do high Ks, people that do a lot of kilometers, you know, people, even if you don't do a lot of trips, a little bit of trips, but you do a lot of Ks around Melbourne, just so we can get the Ks up quick. So higher Ks is good. Um, and that's a butter bing butter boom guys that's what's happening there with the bendix product we're trying to um see if we can get an improvement there because i've personally been dissatisfied that's why i actually went to using some genuine pads which caused some squealing issues which was even worse so now we're trying to get a resolution between pads that don't squeal and pads that last let's see what happens that's a butter bing butter boom you haven't already like i said if you got something out you like the info please give us a thumbs up and um, yeah, subscribe, turn the bell on, and we've got the other uh, channel over there if you're interested in the trips and the outback in vehicle information type stuff. A bit different to the mechanical side for before touring Australia. Thanks for watching, guys. Bada bing, bada boom. See ya.